Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Tokyo Revengers episode 20. I'm very much looking forward to this episode this week and I'm finally on time for once. Um, but uh, yeah, enough to say before the start of the episode and that is that guys. Anyway guys, like the video if you liked the video. It means so much for the channel and subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are steadily, steadily, steadily growing towards 1,000 subscribers. I'm super, super looking forward to that. Um, and let's go into this episode right now. God, I seriously couldn't believe this moment in the last episode. Oh my god. Mikey the Beast, bro. And now they've all just stopped. And they're shocked by what they've just witnessed. Is that even Mikey's? I'm not surprised. Dude's been hitting the fucking head with a pipe. I want to see Mikey as an adult. Dude will be goddamn insane. Bro just needs to sit down for a sec. He's not out. He very much should be. Do you want to try? Do you want to lose your life? Go for it. <laughs> Bro's probably having a power nap or something. Oh, this dude's got like a police barn. This guy's got a cool design. It's very streetwear. Who is it? How do we know this person? I love how like powerful the uh, the force and punches and shit feel. And even all the commanders are in trouble, man. Bro, this hammer won't go down. What the hell? Do what you can. Come on, dude. God damn. Oh, I want Mikey to body all these guys. Come on. Bro, grab him by the face. Please. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. I was wondering where this motherfucker was. Okay, play your part at least in, in this battle. All right, fair play. I completely forgot about him. We're still missing Baji, but Kasaki's here. But Takimiji said something about this guy. Who is it? Wait. Oh, it's a fucking setup, dude. It's a fucking setup. No, don't do this. He's not a good person. Bro, he's just trying to get on Toman's good side. Shit, dude. And you're the only person person that knows this. God, even Ken, man. You need proof if you want to come out about this, though. Like, you can't just blurt it out now. Nobody's gonna believe you. Oh, <gasps> Baji? Oh shit. I'm not even going to say no to him doing this, to be honest. Fucking let's go, Baji. <laughs> oh, that felt nice. That felt good. Alright. I mean, he's doing the right thing here. Let's go, Baji. <laughs> I'm rooting for the guy on the other team here, but he's obviously... You know, he's doing this for a reason. So fucking Baji and Takemiji are the only ones that understand that Kisaki is a shady guy. Bro, dude took a fucking pipe to the face. Fair play. He's crazy. Not everybody can take a pipe to the face like Mikey can. Baji is a crazy motherfucker, bro. I love it. Oh, Chiffy, you... Don't take it personally, Chiffy. He doesn't mean it. I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jiffy, just let Baji do what he wants to do right now, please. Takemiji, what are you doing, bro? Oh, true, true. No, don't say that. Jiffy, come on. You don't have to hit him. You just have to restrain him, dude. Oh, dude. Takemiji can't go out, otherwise history is just going to repeat itself, dude. 
Holy shit, Takamichi. Was it Kisaki? No, it was Kazutoto who did it originally, right? But the strings were kind of laid down there by Kisaki, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. <gasps> you fucking bitch. Dude! Oh, fuck this guy. I actually despise him. Oh, my God. Bashi. Ah. Uh, for what reason? For what reason, Kazutoro? Takemichi, pa fucking pommel his face in, dude. If you can. Huh? Huh? What? Where's the knife mark? What? What? Knife just went into his back. Where's the mark? No, dude. You're... This guy, man. It's your fault. Dude, where's the knife mark? Uh, am I missing something? Was that illusion? It was... Yeah, so it wasn't through his jacket. It was through the black his black shirt. Did it happen? I'm confusion. Can someone, like, restrain Kazutoro or something? Nobody else is going to accept this, dude. He's going down a dangerous path. He can't let you guys join him, most likely. I swear, this dude was just stabbed, right? Oh, dude. <laughs> Dude's got to put his hair up. Fair enough. You get a weapon against 50 people. I'll allow it. Alright, and which of you is watching Kazutoro? Please. He definitely hasn't been stabbed. Like, I see nothing there. Oh, of course, he was just on the phone to Hanma. I hope he beats you again. Oh. <laughs> no fucking way. Bajin, take him out, dude. Do it. Take him out. Come on. Is Mikey awake? What? What's going on? Motherfucker! What? He really was stabbed? And we just didn't see a mark at all? No. No. Dude, that's kind of bullshit, I'm going to be honest. Alright, so that was Tokyo Revengers episode 20. Um, I want to start from the beginning saying I really did enjoy that episode. Um, obviously, uh, with kind of Kaseki coming in and then realising that he wasn't actually, you know, he, we all knew he was kind of playing a part, um, but he didn't actually just stop a guy for Mikey he stopped someone who he's obviously associated with. And even then, he, we saw him on the phone with Hanma. So he's a piece of shit, still. Um, Kazutoro, also a piece of shit. There's, I, he keeps going just lower and lower. On the, like, why the fuck are you doing this rating? I don't know. Um, Baji, obviously a beast. Obviously. Um, it's super mega strong. There's no doubt about that. Did kind of find it a little bit bullshit. Um... Where it seemed like he was stabbed, obviously, but there was just no mark and it, he, there was just nothing wrong with him at all. Obviously, it's just kind of playing on the fact that, oh, I, I'm, I'm strong. I don't need to show that I've just been stabbed. I'm fine. And then, of course, sometime later, shit, it's, oh, no, it's actually hitting me. Kind of didn't enjoy that in this case, to be honest. Um, just it's, it's just a small thing, kind of just a small thing for me. I didn't really enjoy that kind of narrative for how that went. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not going to affect my overall view of the show, or Baji, or anything really. It's just... It's not really a big fan of that. Um, I don't know. Kazutoro is now... Ba <sighs> Bashi could survive this. Come on. Like, it's... It's like in the hip. Like, he could survive this. Please. Don't let it history just repeat itself stupidly. Like, something has to change here. Please. Even if Mikey is stopped somehow from killing Kazutoro, which 
Again, Kasatolu kind of deserves it. But, like, it would be better if he didn't, because we don't want Mikey going down that awful path and then Kasaki getting exactly what he wants. Ah, it's so frustrating. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward to the next episode. We are very, very close towards the end of the season now, and I'm very excited to see how it's going to go. And that is that, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day, and peace out.